Hello and welcome to this episode of Quest. First, the highlights. Interview with the Registrar of University. Zoology Department holds three-day national seminar on faunal diversity. And DLL holds one-day event on innovation. Now the details of these events with your host, Ahmed Ashraf. Dear viewers, Professor Zafar Ahmed Rishi has taken over as the Registrar of University. Professor Rishi is a noted botanist of the state, known for his contribution in the fields of research and academics. Professor Rishi has been the head of Department of Botany and Honorary Director, Center for Biodiversity and Taxonomy. He is also Fellow of National Institute of Ecology, New Delhi. Talking to the QS team, Professor Rishi said that every university is known by its research and he will try to inculcate the research culture in the University of Kashmir. Uh, recently, Bruce Alberts is one of the topmost scientists who wrote in the science editorial that it is at the end of the day the culture of research, culture of work that basically makes a, a, an institution great. It's not necessary that the funding alone is important for making an institution great. And then this is, some, this is an area which uh, I for one would consider of utmost importance. Uh, for this, we appeal to all our uh, teachers, faculty members, researchers, research scholars, agree, to inculcate that culture of research, isn't it? And then in the process, they would not be benefiting themselves, they would be benefiting their alma mater as well. I mean, if this culture of, say, quality, innovative research is created, isn't it? This is what basically the essence of an university is. University is the best and of the freedom of expression. Uh, even for that matter, if a student has a very bizarre startup idea, he should not shy away from basically that expressing that idea. Maybe that idea could be taken up further and that idea could translate into something, uh, uh, something great or something uh, innovative. This is what basically the essence of a uh, university is. Professor Rishi said that university is following international standards in awarding the research degrees. Uh, we are using international benchmarks such as impact factors, such as uh, citation index, such as H index uh, for evaluation of the research that is being uh, carried out by our uh, uh, faculty members and students. Uh, I must tell you that I am more than satisfied with the quality of research that is being conducted in the University of Kashmir. I must also point it out here that there are certain groups in the university which are do carrying out research at par with a, any other group in Europe, uh, U.S., is, their work is exceptionally good. Uh, they publish in world's topmost journals. Uh, they need to be um, uh, provided additional support so that um, they reach uh, the newer heights. And then society also needs to take cognizance of the work that is being carried out by them. And then they need to be appreciated. We are taking measures to identify these people, to provide them all the necessary support, and then all the necessary encouragement also. Asked, while the university has increased the intake capacity of students, the faculty has remained constant. Is it going to affect the studies? This is what the registrar said. We are shifting to, uh, in a phased manner, to the choice-based credit system. We may, initiate, we may start with the science faculty, wherein the student would get more than, uh, uh, he would be willing to take, I mean, he would be at liberty to take up a, a course from an unrelated discipline if it suits basically his career options. This is the mandate of the UGC also, and it was considered recently in the University Council as well. And then wherein the university has 
uh, taken a decision that we are going to implement it in a phased manner. To begin with, it would be in science faculty. Uh, it would basically increase the academic flexibility the students will get to opt for a very large number of programs. It would increase their job prospects. It will increase their horizons of knowledge. And more importantly, we'll be uh, using in a big way this information communication technology in teaching. Uh, EMMRC, as you already know, uh, is one of the best centers that we have on the campus. Uh, it has already uh, pre prepared uh, these e-contents for botany, uh, law, and other things, other uh, courses. Uh, we'll, wherever the faculty is not available, uh, these e-contents could be very easily taken to those places for the benefit of students. On the issue of quality teaching, Professor Rishi said that the teaching of university is reflected through the number of students passing the net examination. That for the first time, 400 hour students qualified net examinations isn't it, from our students. Earlier they used, I mean, it used to be 100 or 50. Now for the first time, 400 hour students have qualified net, which means uh, that the teaching that we basically uh, do here in our university is of very high quality. That's, uh, it's a reflection of the, uh, the quality of the teaching, quality of students. Uh, we wish that we take it to, uh, say, uh, uh, higher levels. If we have 1,000 students appearing, all the 1,000 qualifying these uh, national level uh, examinations. Uh, uh, more important is that we would expect and hope in, uh, in times to come that all the, all the members of the state, all the members of the civil society, all the members of the, uh, the university fraternity uh, participating in their own way and contributing in their own way uh, towards the uh, development of this institution. As a registrar, Professor Rishi said that he has set some goals and targets which he wants to achieve. Uh, we are basically identifying certain strengths of the university and we are working on those strengths. And then we are also identifying certain of the concerns of the, the state, uh, such as environment, such as forest degradation, such as urbanization, such as climate change. I mean, these are the issues that are of, of relevance to the uh, state of Jammu and Kashmir. And it is our endeavor to create specific task forces to address each of these issues. And in this regard, we are willing to work closely with the relevant government agencies so that they basically can, they tell us as to what their issues are so that the researchers work in the university find out their solutions and those solutions are taken back to the government agencies for their implementation. Uh, I expect and we are getting support from uh, the both uh, national as well as international funding agencies. We have a uh, huge financial support from the Department of uh, Science and Technology. We'll be adding state-of-the-art uh, instruments to our uh, university. And then the state of the, the, uh, the facility uh, would be available not only for the scholars of this university, it would be available for faculty and students of other similar institutions as well. Praising the students and staff of university for their competence, the registrar also admitted that there are issues that need to be sorted out. Some amount of fiscal discipline uh, is required. Uh, we are at it. Uh, Non-productive expenditure has to be uh, brought down. Uh, significantly it has to be brought down. Uh, and then uh, the quality of, say, say, support system that we have here, I mean, quality of labs, I mean, quality of instrumentation that we have available here is, it is to be improved, uh, significantly improved. Uh, reason is that certain benchmarks have to be established. I mean, this is the benchmark on the basis of which we are going to evaluate your quality of research. And there should not be, I mean, there would not, should not be any compromise on that. That is how basically we'll be going about. Then uh, maybe we have uh, this lack of work culture, isn't it? I mean, it's not, we do not have that uh, work culture because there are certain basically difficulties also vis-a-vis uh, -vis the environment that we have in the valley. Uh, this is also an issue which needs to be considered, take a note of, but notwithstanding everything, that if everything remains constant, you have bad climatic conditions, you do not have good funding, so on and so forth, then still there are people who do exceptionally good. If they can do, then anybody else also can do. I mean, it does not make any sense that uh, there are this difficulty, administration is not good, this, this, so on and so forth. Because in the same university, if people like Shahid Ruful can do good work, then so can others also be doing this. It's as simple as that. To watch the full version of this interview, log on to our website, emmrckashmir.com. Department of Zoology, in collaboration with Indian Science Congress Association, organized three-day national seminar 
on science for shaping the future of India, faunal diversity, challenges and opportunities. The inaugural function was held in the Gandhi Bhavan Auditorium. Dean, Faculty of Biological Sciences and Seminar Coordinator, Professor G.M. Shah, presented the inaugural address. Animal extinction is a natural process as, ex as exemplified by the extinction of dinosaurs, placoderms, ostracoderms, etc. But during the past century, world population has increased by more than 4 billion, three times the number of people at the beginning of the century. At the same time, the use of energy and raw materials have increased more than 10 times. The increase in human population has resulted in more demand for more space to live. This has in turn resulted in an encroachment of wastelands, wetlands, rural and forest areas and has, la and has put large pressure on their respective flora and fauna. Dean Academic Affairs, Professor A.M. Shah, said that through innovative research, students and scholars can be part of the development process. He added that university is trying to develop a process towards high-end research through various collaborations. A research factor will again go to the institutions or to the people who will be living in the U.S. And that means the most of this development process will be taken away by the US or by the Europe or by the developed world, whether sitting there or coming back to this place and working in our institutions. So great opportunity is for our scientists, for our students, for scholars to start thinking innovatively, to start focusing on innovative research so that development, not only development, that our scientists, our students, our scholars become part of this development process. There is a great opportunity for research projects and for research work. The ball is in the coat of our students, our scholars, our teachers, that how they become part of this and the great role of sciences which can sustain this development. Emphasizing on creating a culture of research, Registrar Professor Zafar Ahmed Rishi called for the establishment of a biodiversity board in the state, which he said will go a long way in safeguarding the biodiversity. The species that are growing in different ecosystems are being sustained by these ecosystems are properly documented, they are identified, isn't it? They are inventorized. And unless and until you do not do that, till then we may not be able to use basically biodiversity uh, for providing what we call as five Fs of life, food, fodder, fiber and fertilizer. And then the immeasurable, invaluable services that this biodiversity provides. Agreed? Anyway. Now we have, it's a mixed blessing, it is a, it's a challenge also, then we are going to get everything basically from this biodiversity, isn't it? Even the aesthetic beauty that these forests have in the Kashmir, enchanting beauty that you have in the Kashmir, is because of this biodiversity at the end of the day, isn't it? And, and I believe that uh, the, the, the seminar is very apt. General Secretary, Indian Science Congress Association, Dr. Vijay Lakshmi Saxena, delineated the role of our organization. Indian Science Congress Association has objectively been a research-oriented association. We have always strived for furthering this aim. Our sincere efforts have always been to work hard and achieve our goal of providing the society with a well-developed scientific India. I hope the upcoming talents will perceive new ideas do targeted scientific work and cause technological progress. Minister of Higher Education, Mr. Abdul Ghani Malik, in his address, said that the animals are as important as any other living being in the world. Just like other life forms, animals are important in many respects for biosphere in the general and mankind in particular. First and the foremost importance of the animals is the form. The ecological point of view, like animals occupy a specific trophic levels in the food chains and food webs as consumers. We, it is the animal which occupies top carnivore level in food range. The absence of animal in the food chain will result in an ecological imbalance with the disastrous cons consequences. Head, Department of Zoology, Professor M. Nayar Azim presented the word of thanks. Research scholar of Zoology Department, Ms. Iram Khurshid, conducted the proceedings of the event. <music> Directorate of Lifelong Learning, in collaboration with Jammu and Kashmir Innovator Forum, 
organized one day event on how to begin with new innovation. The function was held in the Gandhi Bhavan Auditorium. In his welcome address, Director, Directorate of Lifelong Learning, Dr. G. H. Meer said that the present program is first of its kind, that's based on zero cost, why no paper has been used. This is no cost, zero cost based program, number one. And this is green and clean. Everything has been done online. Whether it was invitation, whether it is certification, whether it is uh, this registration, we have tried our level best to make it absolutely and absolutely zero cost based program in the University of Kashmir and the first program of its nature in the University of Kashmir itself. CEO JKIF engineer M.M. Idrisul Haq Beg and his address said that innovation starts from home. So I am putting this in your mind that you can get out of some innovative way. Get out of some way that is solar based. But you can get the heat too. You can learn your hands easily, you can learn your hands. But get out of some way that you don't need to get out of some way. It's not just get out of some way. और भी बहुत सारी चीजें हैं जिनमें इनोवेशन की बहुत ज्यादा आशा जरूरत है वो आपके घर में ही पड़े हुए हैं असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन मिस्टर रूफुल असलम आल्सो गेव अ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन वेरियस इनोवेटिव प्रोटोटाइप्स अगर हमें कोई भी चीज बनानी है अगर हमें उसको मार्केट में लाना है तो अगर वो मार्केट में आएगी उसके लिए हम कुछ करें उसको हम इनोवेशन कहते हैं और अगर अभी तक वो मार्केट में नहीं आई है देन वी विल कॉल इट एज इन्वेंशन फॉर एग्जांपल आपने देखा होगा बहुत सारा इन्वेंशन हु वन एडिसन इन्वेंटर समथिंग ही इन्वेंट समथिंग तो हमने इन्वेंशन बोला और वी से दैट इट इज डिस्कवरी लेकिन तब तक जब तक ना ये जब तक ये मार्केट में नहीं आया था लेकिन जो हम इसको मार्केटेबल बनाते हैं वी कॉल इट इनोवेशन रजिस्ट्रार प्रोफेसर जफर अहमद रिशी इन हिज एड्रेस टोल्ड पार्टिसिपेंट्स दैट इनोवेशन शुड नॉट बी रेस्ट्रिक्टेड to manufacture things only. Uh, you need not basically to have an idea, an innovative idea, only for the purpose of commercializing it, isn't it? It's not necessary. I mean, you could be basically giving us a very innovative idea as to how to conduct conferences. I mean, I believe that this function has been a bit innovative because there are nothing, I mean, no paraphernalia on the table. You, you, one would basically get to see many things on the table. At least this has been done innovatively. Look at the roof above. I mean, the Khatam Ban has been an innovation, isn't it? After all, I mean, this is also very important. We need to appreciate as what our ancestors have done. I mean, they have been very innovative. Kangri is an innovation. I mean, we are looking for basically a different thing, but the fact of the matter is this is an innovation. Uh, likewise, the Hammam is an innovation, isn't it? We are reverting back to it. We need to connect basically to the past. I mean, the herbs that they have been using, isn't it, for various elements. Could be a minefield here. Vice Chancellor, Professor Talat Ahmed, while urging students to go for innovations, told them that the university is ready to provide any kind of support to the innovators. We are very happy to provide any support that will be required if we find uh, some interesting projects by the students of schools, any of these schools in the city and even outside. And uh, we will also try to find uh, some ways to get funds if the projects are good, there are lots of funds available in the country and uh, definitely, particularly, if you can come out with suggestions which will be more applicable to your own area of Jammu and Kashmir because you have some unique problems which may not be there in other parts. So definitely you will be the right person to take care of that. An e-book titled Shortcut to Physics authored by a class 11th student, was also released on the occasion. Project Officer DLL Ms. Shinara presented the War of Thanks. That's all for today's program. Log on to our website emmrckashmir.com to see the latest episode of Quest. Mail us your valuable suggestions at quest at emmrckashmir.com. Before I take your leave, here are a few words of wisdom. The race in writing is not the swift, but to the original. Good night.